हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अनबॉक्सिंग ऑफ द ट्रांजेंट एसएसडी सो दिस इज अ ट्रांजेंट एसएसडी 370s मॉडल इट्स अ 128 gb ssd and uh, it supports the sata 6 gbps so this is a very budget oriented uh, ssd uh, which costs around uh, 40 dollars and uh, it's supposed to provide very good read and write speeds so uh, if you look at the advertised uh, feature at the back so this supports uh, around uh, 560 mbps of read and 460 mbps of write so that's what uh, the, the disk drive supports 560 mbps of read and 460 mbps write and uh, this has a uh, this comes with a 3 year warranty from transen so that's also one good thing that it uh, comes with 3 year warranty from transen and um, main thing is it supports a sata 6 gbps and also has a, uh, a 3.5 inch bracket to uh, fit into any of your uh, cases so let's quickly unbox this and check what comes in the box so let me open the box This is the three and a quarter inch bracket that uh, it comes with, which will fit into any of your cases. Uh, in case you don't have an SSD uh, support in your case, and then this is the manual itself, which is uh, the quick installation guide and the warranty card and the other uh, documentation details. So let's keep this aside, and now uh, these are your. Uh, screws for your drive for installing your drive and also the screws for your 3 uh, and quarter inch uh, bracket that you have and then here is the ssd itself so they have packed the ssd here now let's open the ssd it's a silver finish uh, ssd that is there so let's take ssd out of the box and this is the ssd SSD itself. Let's put the SSD to a side. So it's a uh, very small. Uh, I mean, uh, I never expected it to be such a small device, but it's a very small device, and uh, there's no anything advertisement on it. It just says uh, transient solid state drive, and uh, on the on the back side we have the information. Uh, we have the serial number, and it says three seventy S, which is the latest uh, transient. Uh, the series and also it is sata 6 gbps so i'll be installing this ssd into my main computer and uh, run some uh, benchmarks and tests to see uh, whether whatever uh, transcend has advertised uh, the 560 mbps uh, read speeds and the 460 mbps uh, write speeds whether uh, it uh, satisfies uh, those requirements and the advertised speeds or not so i'll uh, put it into my desktop and uh, run some benchmarks using the test tools so i have done the benchmark using the crystal disk mark and uh, i have done it uh, by uh, fresh uh, install of the drive so i just uh, installed the drive in my system and took the benchmarks so from the benchmarks you can see that uh, the transcend ssd has achieved around 360 to 370 of sequential write read speeds sorry and then uh, around 160 mbps of uh, write speeds so uh, considering the price point of this drive which is around 60 dollars this is a good performance and uh, uh, the reads are uh, fine with 360 370 mbps should be fine but uh, the writes are slightly slow so if you are concerned about the write speeds then i think it's better that you could uh, add another 20 dollars and get the samsung uh, 850 uh, evo drive because that has a uh, advertised speeds of around 530 mbps of uh, read and write so uh, for the price point that uh, this disc comes at this performance is very good and uh, also i had taken the benchmarks after i uh, filled in the disc by around 50% of its capacity 
around 70 uh, GB and then I had taken the readings so f from that benchmarks also you can find that uh, it performs uh, pretty well even though the disk is half full it has given the same performance as 360 Mbps of read and around 160 Mbps of write so uh, I also took the benchmarks using the AS SSD uh, and even in there you can see that it's typically around 340 Mbps is what it is showing in sequential read and around 150 Mbps in sequential write. So if you want a inexpensive SSD for uh, something like uh, right now I'm using the SSD for my uh, editing and it works good enough for my editing. I have used it with Premiere Pro. I have used it with Sony Vegas. It works good enough for your editing. So if you're just into editing videos and uh, or you want to just use it as an OS disk, it should work fine. But if you're really concerned about the speeds, the, uh, about the right speeds, then I would say that spend that extra $20 and get the Samsung 850 EVO drive. Otherwise, uh, this has all the uh, support like the trim and uh, endurance and all is quite good. And it, it comes with a three year warranty, which is slightly disappointing because uh, SanDisk and uh, Samsung and other SSD uh, manufacturers are giving around five years warranty. So if uh, those are not your concerns, it's still a very good drive for uh, uh, the value for money drive, I would say. And uh, if you are looking at something uh, getting into the SSD world with a cheap SSD, definitely I would recommend this SSD. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll meet you in the next video. Thanks very much.